those playlists in Spotify is such a fucked algorithm, bro. Nobody knows how to work that shit. We had a marketing company work with us on our release last year. How'd it go? It did. Uh, well, we didn't put any money into Spotify because if you don't spend over X amount of dollars on Spotify uh, ads and stuff, like it doesn't work. And we didn't have a budget to spend that kind of money to, to see any kind of return on Spotify. However, and I know that because, um, what's his name? Uh, what's a singer from the revivalists? I can't remember. Uh, David Shaw. David Shaw. There you go. They were also handling his marketing campaign and they were like, yeah, man, we're pumping X amount of dollars into this and we're seeing nothing like literally nothing. It's like, this mm. is like the revivalists have written like huge pop songs like on the radio and shit. You're talking, you're telling me the singer is putting in X amount of dollars onto a marketing campaign to hit Spotify and he's not generating anything more than what he would normally generate anyways. Mm, and yeah. it's like, yeah, because if you're not doing this, it just doesn't work. We, we can't figure it out. Yeah, there's definitely like strange algorithms at play. Um, but even like, I would argue like all the more so, like if you do have a song that does well on Spotify, then it's like, well, damn, okay, you figured it out. Kind no. of, but you can pay for shit too, though. You know what I mean? I guess you could you can pay for yeah. placement, and it's like, and a lot of the, it's a lot of it's like bots and shit. The problem is, is that streaming. If you're if you're hitting the numbers across every streaming platform, then I will say, okay, you're doing it legit. If you're hitting the numbers on Spotify and no other platforms, yeah, like no no YouTube plays or yeah, like, like it's bullshit. Number I never one about that, yeah, and number two, it doesn't yield anything for you financially or otherwise because streaming pays well when you're killing it across every platform it pays x amount of dollars uh, per or x amount of cents per play on one platform but it does that across every platform so this idea but it opens so many doors for you on your resume okay, wait hold on but here's what i'm getting to the idea is that, that streaming doesn't pay shit is bullshit because when you're killing it across every streaming platform, you're literally killing it financially. And that translates to ticket sales at your live shows. Yeah, exactly. Right now, if you're killing it on one platform, it's not enough revenue for you to see any kind of real change in your financial situation. It's not, and it certainly doesn't generate to ticket sales when you play shows. So what are you actually gaining? Nothing because everybody else that's, that's looking at that, Everybody in the industry knows what's bullshit and what's not. They right. they see that happening, and that and then like like let's say a booking agent or a manager wants to take you on. And it's okay. Well, we're gonna book a tour, so we can't book a tour because you have no plays in this market, or your you know your ticket sales come out to the X amount or whatever. And but you're killing it on this one streaming platform. It's like yeah, but that's one streaming platform. It also depends on the demographics as well, though. You have to keep in mind, like, for, like we all know at this point, I think that like YouTube is predominantly like male viewers, mm -hmm, right? Yeah, male viewers between the ages of I think like twenty five and forty. Yeah, is, that's YouTube. Very little female interaction on YouTube. Mm -hmm. That's the demographics of YouTube. Yeah. So if you're a band that's like a you know, like soft, uh, introspective, like cutesy music, and you put your song on YouTube. You're not going to get that many plays on that. Your lyric videos are going to do terribly because who's actually watching YouTube? Not really that like, but you know what? Instagram, if you put the same video on Instagram, do totally fine, right? Mm -hmm. Spotify also is kind of the same way, I think. Like, I, I don't remember what the actual demographics of like Spotify users are, but I'm sure it's somewhat slated towards a certain demographic of people in certain countries, right? Mm -hmm. And then probably even down to like certain states, like who uses Spotify versus Apple Music, for example. You yeah, but, but it's pretty ubiquitous though. Spotify and Apple Music, if, if you were like bringing up like Deezer or Tidal, then I'd be like, okay. Like, yeah, those are definitely certain demographics because we're talking like, we're talking high definition sound. When people give a fuck about that or musicians. So like when we're, if we're, if we're tracking well on those platforms and not so well on Spotify or, or, or I, or Apple music, then we know that we're, that we are target dem demographic or people that at least work within the industry at, at the base level. Right. But when it comes to Spotify and Apple, Apple music, it's, you think it's a broad stroke? Yeah, I, I think it's a pretty broad stroke. Interesting. I, I think it's pretty ubiquitous with those two. Google man. it, boys. Interesting. We, yeah, yeah, we, I'd be we, very curious. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I really don't know. I don't know other. either. I'd have to guess, so. Half and half. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's going to be pretty. Wow. What's the biggest one? Our age Spotify, group? I think, is the biggest one. No, no, no. Spotify the user. Demographics. Oh, demographics. Yeah, demographics, demographics yeah. especially for age. Um, is that a, is that, you know, scientific journal peer-reviewed? Oh, this is a Google search, so you know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely a uh, peer. Uh, worldwide music stream. So let's say, let's say, for people who are just listening, let's say that what the numbers are 11% on what was others. 
Oh, uh, I guess like other streaming platforms oh, that are probably like specific to countries and things as well. And gotcha. Okay. I didn't see you. Okay. Spotify yeah, is Spotify 36%. 36. Apple music is 18%. Right. Exactly. So I don't trust people. Who Deezer. <laughs> Pandora is for old people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's for boomers. <laughs> um, like, oh, this, I've got Pandora. I don't need anything else. I've never even heard of Tencent. 10%. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of wild. <laughs> Google's five percent. No one's listening to music on any Google streaming platforms. No, Deezer is three percent, but Deezer and Title are like specifically for the yeah, listening like experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I've never sure. heard of it. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Spotify and Apple Music. Uh, Spotify is obviously the biggest one by far. I didn't know mm-hmm. Amazon was number three. I, I I wouldn't have been able to guess. Yeah, I didn't even know there was Amazon. Music. Yeah. Oh yeah, big time. No idea. Yeah. Um, Spotify has been like, like the big player for, for like yeah, a I know. while now. Everybody uses it. But as far as the demographic 36% go, anyways. Yeah. yeah. But uh, nobody uses two. And if you use two, that's insane. So what, I get what you're trying to say. You got to get it across the board. Yeah. Get it across the board. And yeah. that, that makes you look good. Yeah. And then you also, yeah. and financially it, it makes sense at that point because now we're seeing real revenue. Coming no, I in. get it. Yeah. But like. When we're hitting, when we're hitting one well on one platform, if you're spending money to see to see plays on one platform, there's no return financially or otherwise because it doesn't translate to ticket sales because it's not real, anyways. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess I do see that. Um, now, I guess like for like for me personally, like when I look at it, it's like I know that most of the people that I work with don't put any kind like they don't have any kind of money to do anything to get them plays. You know? Right. And I think for the most part, like who actually has money to like drop into plays besides like rich boys that like, You'd you know what surprised. I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, and even then they're not going to come to me to come record. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, fucking uh, Tebow came in here, so <laughs> never know, bro. It's not, you're not wrong. That's kind of like a, yeah. I mean, audiobooks are a whole different game, but, um, cause you, you don't, ask for those that it gets forced upon you almost. But. So who's fucking killing it on audible right now? Oh man. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, like, you know, the people that I'm working with know who I'm probably working with. And it's like, they can also do things like go to Instagram or, well, like, I think like to digress, it's like more so like, I think anybody that's worth working with on my end should be doing their due diligence to be looking at actual, like they should be doing research. Like I want, like if I was going to a studio, I want to be like, okay, who do they work with? How are they doing? Have they put up recent things? Like, is this a recent sample or is this like 10 years old? Right. Like bullshitting and be like, this is what we do recently. And it's like, dude, you haven't mixed that song in 10 years. Do you even know how to do that genre anymore? Right. <laughs> you're not telling right. the truth. It's just SoundCloud samples that I have no idea where they're coming from. And that, at least on Spotify, I can go, hey, guess what? That song is 2022 and it has this many plays. I can go to their Spotify or their uh, Instagram rather. And I can see like, oh, they're posting recently. Like they're actually active, they're active in, yeah. they're active doing this. So this person's like my samples on my website are active people that are actively doing something, you know? And so I think like there's some, like for me, like that's what I would be looking for. Sure. And so I guess also like as a person that's like doing it, you're probably always skewed towards like your own opinion of what you'd be looking for in something. Right. It's so, like for me, like that's what I would be looking for. Like my first step would be like check Spotify. Is it doing well? Check their Instagram. And then, yeah, maybe from there I might go check like YouTube. Probably it's my next thing to go check out. Okay, like, do they have lyric video content or are they doing anything that's like interesting? Right. Are they putting out Instagram reels or TikToks or whatever? And, like, right. Are they getting traction or is it all a ghost town? Right. Because it's like, no matter what, if I went to a studio's website and there's like a SoundCloud link and I listen to it, I'm like, it's a bop. And I go to it on Spotify and it's 2008. I'm like, okay, that's first red flag for me. Yeah, totally. Second, when I go to YouTube, it's not on YouTube. I'm like, that's kind of weird. Like, it's not on YouTube. It's it's very strange to me that that, that SoundCloud has the uh, the clout that it has because it's... it's People also get like huge plays on there. And they blow know, up from, Spot- or from SoundCloud too, though. Like, I know. That's, a, that, that's one thing too I've like had a hesitancy towards is I'm like, damn, should I also do a, like a SoundCloud playlist so that like, there, people that do that, like if they blow up, I can be like, hey, check this out. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like yes. what, what's a cover every one of them? That's what he was saying. What's that fucking You're not wrong? Yeah. What's I mean, that? What's take, that fucking advice? What's that? That guy's name, uh, Gary V or whatever. Oh Can't yeah, stand that guy. However, he's very loud. Yeah, he's very loud, but he makes a good point, and it's 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 never. Uh, the point that uh, somebody is that the TikTok vi- guy, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the buying, TikTok? buying uh, yeah, he's on TikTok, things no. at yard sure sales and stuff, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, the, yeah that guy, does. right? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I thought you were talking about a musician. <laughs> Sorry, no, I, I don't know, I, I don't know what, like, what he's just selling, like, how to grind, basically. It's his yeah, whole he's thing. just selling what his deal he's is. Selling, uh, selling, strangely enough. Yeah, that's uh, that's a whole different rabbit hole we can go down. I fucking hate people that make their money doing that. But anyways, 
he was talking to somebody who was a musician or whatever. And they were like, well, I'm hearing now it's, you know, all about, you know, fuck Instagram. And it's all about going to TikTok, blah, blah. He's like, first off, it's never or, and it's always and, you know? Oh yeah, I, like I saw that, that video. And, I like and that. you know, and I, and I like that. It, it's a good rule of thumb because like, the, why say fuck any platform that you're closing off or not? The only thing that I would say is with Facebook is it's, it's an echo chamber. It's also dying, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it's dying because it doesn't, it doesn't follow the premise of the, the modern social media platforms. It's people follow you. Right. And, and yeah. that's it. And we're not, they're rarely out there actively seeking new content. So it's like, like Instagram, TikTok, they're out there seeking new content. Yep. Facebook is like, okay, I'm going to make a post today and see how, who's going to comment the same fucking 50 people that like my post or whatever it might be. Well, yeah. Cause it's, it, it's it, like, it was supposed to be also a, like, this is a tangent. Sorry, but like, it was supposed to be a closed network anyways. Right. Like Facebook was supposed to be a closed network. And that's ultimately like the hard part for them. The reality of Facebook, that's probably why they bought Instagram is like, that's what it's supposed to be is like you and I are friends in real life. And so like, we're going to be friends on the digital life, right? you know, and, and that's, that's it. I don't want, I don't want somebody else to be looking in on what I'm doing. Like that's what it, it, it's like a friend group kind of thing. Exactly. Whereas and that, Instagram is like, check out this photo. I want more people to see this photo. Yep. If I'm being honest, I don't want more people to see my personal Facebook posts. Of course. Yeah. You know, like that's for family. Like at this point, how I view it is like, that's like, where I post like, hey, happy 60th anniversary to my grandmother and Thousand grandfather. Percent. For, it's for yeah. birthdays only. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, it's true. <laughs> birthdays and then babies being born. Here's and it shouldn't be used for anything else. Yeah.